It's nice to get out of the office. It's like a long, great winter, but we were doing a lot of desktop work and reporting on uh, the projects that we did last year, including the, the road restoration work. And yeah, it's nice to get out in the spring and stretch the legs. What Sean called me and asked me to come out and help with this project, I was uh, pretty quick to say yes. It's a, it was a fun adventure going to pick up the cameras and I've done a lot of game camera work so I enjoy that and spending some time flying over some of the most beautiful places in BC. Getting into this line of work is always pretty fun. You get to do these random adventures. We spend a lot of time uh, working on the computer too but when you get out and get in the field and do field work it's the uh, best part of the job. Today's mission was to head up to our Goldway Road where we've done some caribou restoration and we're pulling all the cameras from it. We're taking a break and looking to recce some new roads. Winter's just about over and this is a great kickoff to the to field season that we're going to have ahead. Turns out the best access this time of year was to fly from Smithers over to the, the Goldway Road by Johansson Lake, which is super fun. It was it's actually just a great flight approaching Goldway from a new direction. It's just even better getting to do it on skis and getting a couple turns while we're at it. It's great. Left the cameras out over the winter to get a better idea of wildlife use in all seasons. Cameras captured a little bit of everything moving out there, which is typical on these old mineral access roads that provide relatively easy movement paths for wildlife and have limited human traffic. We're still seeing lots of caribou, especially in the upper sections of the road that were not accessible by the excavator. We also captured images of wolves, wolverine, martin, lynx, some grizzly bears, along with short-tailed weasels, ptarmigan, spruce grouse, and even some squirrels. We are retrieving our cameras so we can deploy them on our next road restoration project within the Swan Owl River Valley. These cameras will give us additional information on caribou and predator use of that low elevation road before we restore it in September. In addition to the camera data, it is important for us to get out and get eyes on the ground and really see what a few meters of snow does to our treated areas. We were not able to access the upper section of this road with the excavator in 2021 due to a large beaver pond. So for the upper section, we felled trees intensively to decrease line of sight and predator travel speeds along the road. Field visits and monitoring data have allowed us to see how our fallen trees are holding up and whether they are still providing obstructions. Skiing the road in late winter it's clear that there is so much snow at high elevations that many of our trees have been covered. These fallen trees are not providing the same visual screening or barriers that they are at other times of the year. On this lower section of road, this trip has been great for seeing how well our pits and mounds held up after this heavy snow year. These deep mounds are still difficult to traverse, even when they're filled with snow. Seeing this really confirms we're on the right track and the importance of us decompacting and mounding the road surface and planting pine and alder and scrub birch seedlings. In the long term though, the road restoration treatments we implemented along the length of this road are expected to facilitate natural regeneration. Over time, that will provide visual screening, resistance to travel, and restrict access by these predators to these high elevation caribou habitats. I'm looking forward to the field season ahead. We'll be working on some wildlife baseline programs and other camera trap projects, and we'll identify and prioritize future roads for restoration and caribou habitat. It's important that we keep removing non-tenured roads and some tenured roads too. It was an awesome trip and I'm looking forward to another busy season and continuing with the Chase Caribou Road Restoration Program.